Okay, this is the second video in our Blender low, low Poly series. You can see last time we made the landscape, we added the grass, the brown bit for the hills, and we started to add some white for the snow. Now in the meantime, I've added some trees, and the purpose of this video will be to do the same thing. It will be to actually add um, some more trees onto here. So to do that, we're going to do Shift and A. We're going to go to Mesh. We're going to go to Isosphere. That's going to produce a sphere that we can come back to in a moment. We're going to Shift A again. I'm going to go to mesh. I'm going to go to cylinder, and this is going to become the trunk of the tree. Now, to start with, when it produces this, it has 32 vertices. And I'm going to drop it down to a much smaller one, like five or seven, to give a more blocky look. I'm going to pull it further down. I'm going to press on tab to select it and S to scale it, so it becomes uh, less enormous. Um, I should now be able to use A to select on and off. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to change this to the face view. I'm going to select just that top face and I'm going to press on E which should extrude it so I can make this longer so it looks more like a tree trunk and I can zoom in and have a look at that if I want. I'm going to change this now to being on the vertices. And you can see I'm still selected there but if I wasn't I could press on A, press on B to select the air and pull across it just like the top bits. What I can then do is press on S to scale just the top points, so it's going to scale. I can start to pull those ones in a little bit so they start to kind of pull together. Okay, so pressing on S, I'm starting to pull those in so it kind of pulls together. And you can see it's pulling up some of the bits lower down so it starts to become a bit more tree shaped and a bit less of, uh, well, a bit less of just a cylinder. Okay, we're now going to work on the cylinder. So I'm going to right click on the cylinder, it needs to be in object mode to do that. And once I'm in the cylinder, what I want to do is I want to kind of reduce it down, I basically want to decimate it. So make sure you've pulled this across so you can see all of the tools. And the tool you're looking for is the modifiers tool, which is that one. And in the modifiers tool, we're looking to add a modifier, and the modifier we're adding, looking to add is the decimate one. Now within decimate, what we want to do is we want to change the ratio. So we basically want to look at make <laughs> make it more, look more low poly. So instead of being at one, if we change it to something like 0.3, you can see it becomes very angular. If you're not happy with that, obviously you can play around with that, make it 0.4. I think that's possibly a little bit more tree shapes. So I'm going to stick with that for now. And then I'm going to press on apply. Okay. Now that's basically the two blocks that we need. Now what we need to do next is we need to start to colour in the bits. So this was covered in the, th the last video but it's the same effect. I'm going to go on to the materials option. I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to make a green material for the leaves. I'm going to try and go for green that's a bit less, uh, not too similar to the one I used last time. So I'm going to darken it off quite a long way. And again I want to reduce this intensity to make it less shiny. Okay. I'm going to do the same here, so I'm going to right click on the trunk. Again I'm going to create a new material, this time I'm going to call it brown. Now again I've used brown already so I'm going to have to look for a slightly different brown. I'm going to diffuse, I'm going to pull that down onto a brown. Again I'm going to pull that down so it's quite a deep brown this time. Uh, a chocolatey brown. And then reduce the intensity all the way down. So what I've now got is the top of my tree and the bottom of my tree, but the two aren't connected together. So my next job is to move those so that they're joined. So to do that, I'm going to use the middle button on the mouse to rotate around so I can see it. And I'm going to pull that up. Now, to me at the moment, that looks a little bit big, so I'm going to use the S button so I can scale that down a little bit. Move them around. And I'm looking to make sure that those two are fully joined in. Reasonably happy with that. I might make the trunk a little bit bigger, move it a little bit down so that they can uh, slightly taller trunk on the tree. Now once I've done that the next job for me is to join those two together because at the moment it's not really a tree it's just two separate poly objects so what I'm going to do is select the bottom one, I've already done that by right clicking on it then I'm going to hold down on shift and right click on the top one and then I'm going to use control J which joins them together. Okay, 
And now when I start to move them around, they should move as a single object. So I can bring that down, I can turn around, and I can start to bring my tree to where I want it to be. Maybe I want a tree there. And obviously now it's joined together. If I want to make the tree bigger, I can t press S, scale the tree, a little bit too big. And if, that's why I actually let go of that. And if I want to make duplicates of the tree, I can do uh, Control C and Control V, and then just move them. So I've now got two trees. Maybe I'll move that one a little bit lower. Maybe I'll use S on it again, so that looks like it's not quite grown up so far. And you can start to build yourself your own forest. Now, because I've already made two different trees, I've got ones with different um, trunks. And obviously, you could put additional branches on so that they look different from the ones I've started to create. But you should now be in a position where you can start to make not only a landscape, but a landscape that's got some trees in. Don't forget, though, as you go through this, keep on saving it in case you need to come back to it later.